What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning John Fury, the father of Tyson Fury. He speaks, and he has some critiquing and some counterpunching to say about Ben Davidson and his team. Tyson Fury's father says that he was very lucky. He said that... Um, he looked weight drained. He looked like he'd left it all in the gym, to be honest with you. Overtrained, like I was saying. From the second round on, there was no snap. There was no real movement. There was no real thought going into his work. It was just a labored performance. And then the good happened. He's a lucky man to get to the win, to be honest. Very lucky indeed. With a cut as bad as that, what was it? The third round? I don't know how he got to the 12th. I just think he's a very lucky chap to emerge the winner, but that's not Tyson in there. I know that. What's going on, whatever's going on in the camp, which is has gone wrong, somebody, somebody's to blame, and he just, to me, looked like he didn't have any strength from the off, his timing was off, his distance was terrible, he didn't look for the body. He said he never threw a meaningful shot, really, and the ones thrown were like labored off flat feet, hoping to connect and get him out of there. Whether Wilding is a better is a lot better than I see on the television, but to me, he was no better than his opponent, Tom Swartz, to be honest with you, because he never had a skill to capitalize on it. If he would had been in front of any other man tonight, either Ruiz, Wilder, any of the top three, he would be coming away. He wouldn't be coming away with the winner. Even Povetkin, he wouldn't have beat Povetkin on that performance night. Now, Saying that, coming from his dad, we know one thing about John Fury. First of all, he doesn't pull any punches even when his son. You know, this is like the tough love coming in from him looking at Tyson Fury. And a lot of the things that John Fury said, I said in the live feed, you know, um, whoever joined that feed with me, shouts out to you guys. That's what I was saying. He looked like he was overtrained, right? Now, the funny thing about what John Fury said was that he didn't look himself in there. He didn't look like the same Tyson Fury at all. Who does that sound like? That sounds like another concerned father, Robert Joshua. Remember that? He did look like himself. Something wasn't right with him. Now, John Fury saying the same thing. Fortunately, like his dad said, he was lucky. Okay? He was very lucky. And a cut like that, you know, he really didn't go into detail about the cut. But he knew any other fight or any other fighter if would have received that type of cut, it would have been stopped. You know? And honestly, I, I don't even know if it was worse. I don't know which, which cut was worse. Was worse. Fury's cut or Vitaly's cut, right? Because Vitaly had a bad cut too, but it was just as bad, right? Damn near the same place, right over the eye where the blood streams right down across the eye, okay? With it leaks into the eye. So, you know, and that fight was stopped in the sixth round. Now, that just shows you a lot of things are, that is going on. The lucky part could be the protection that Tyson Fury received. They weren't going to stop that fight like I said it. Then I'm going to say it now. They're not going to stop that fight. You know, um, John Fury also said, I'm, being, I'm just being honest about it. He's my son. I'm a straight talker. That's the worst I've ever seen my son. But what can I say? I'm very proud of the way he mauled his way through it. 
He showed world-class heart and will come again. He needs to go back to the drawing board and see what's going wrong here. And to be honest, to look in the mirror and say things ain't going right. He needs to look where he's gone wrong. I, I've have, I have an idea, but that's my own. Okay. Now, again, that's just Fury being Fury, his father. You know, and to me, he feel I think he needs to get rid of. He thinks he needs to get rid of everyone in his training camp. You know, and start fresh. You know. Uh, one person that you didn't see was Freddie Roach. You didn't see Freddie Roach, you know? So the question you ask yourself, would he, would he have been any better with Roach in his corner? So that's another question you asked, you know, should he sack Ben Davison, which I doubt, but if he doesn't, you can't get mad at Tyson Fury. If you didn't get mad at Anthony Joshua for keeping Rob McCracken. Okay. We need to just be real about that. You know, and I know this was a long time ago, but Canelo lost to Mayweather and he kept the Reynosos, right? So, you know, these guys are not jumping ship just because they either take a loss or in a very tough fight, you know, so that loyalty is going uh, into full mode at this point. They're riding with the loyalty train. You know, so I don't know. I think Ben Davison, you know, has a lot of pressure on him now, along with Tyson Fury. But his dad had some key points in there. And again, I don't think he talked like a like a, uh, a father that was trying to protect his son. I think he talked as though his son is his own man. And even though he's his son, he said what he needed to say about his son. You know, and you got to respect that at the end of the day. Because a lot of people will sugarcoat things, sugarcoat that. You know what I mean? And he did show heart by putting up with that. He went from rounds three to 12. That is true. He kept that. See, here, okay, everyone knows that fight should have been stopped. Everyone knows that. That's the technicality, right? But it's a technicality at the end of the day. But nonetheless, who had to deal with the fucking cut? Tyson Fury. So Tyson Fury was able to go from rounds three to rounds 12 with this badass cut. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that's the heart of a champion. A lot of fighters, when Floyd got cut, shit, he, you know, this motherfucker act like the world was coming to him. I, I, I can't see. I, I can't see. You remember that? <laughs> the first Madonna fight? The moment? That was the, that was, that was the theme of it. It was called the moment. Okay? So, Tyson Fury did handle that very well. You could tell it was bothering him, right? But he went through it. That's what champions do. But anyway, those are the words of John Fury. You guys tell me what you think about his critiquing, his comments towards his son. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.